Hello, I'm Lewis McKenzie. On our website, which I encourage you to visit, music.nd.edu, I quote the poet Bertolt Auerbach, who says that music is what washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. I think you might agree with that idea. Music is very much at the center of the Notre Dame experience. Think of the marching band, the glee club, the various choirs, but think also of the mixed voice chorale, the early music groups Collegium and Scola, the Notre Dame Orchestra and Opera ND, just to name some of the student ensembles in which you can participate or enjoy in concert. You will also want to think about the distinguished faculty in music here at Notre Dame. We can boast of important composers, accomplished artists who are also professors of voice, strings, organ, piano, as well as instructors in just about every instrument you can imagine. And because Notre Dame is not a conservatory, does not have a separate school of music, the department is situated very much in the context of a superb liberal arts education. Consequently, we can and do point to an exceptionally strong faculty in theory, history, and sacred music. We have, for example, the world's leading expert on Schubert's art songs, as we have experts on Schoenberg, on Brahms, on early music, and on chant. I just grazed the surface of what music as a department, as a field of study, and equally importantly, as a pleasure capable of washing away from the soul the dust of everyday life has to offer at the University of Notre Dame. So do visit our website, stop by the department, email the faculty with your questions, and right now, enjoy the video. Thank you. I was interested in coming to Notre Dame for just Notre Dame and just the reputation that Notre Dame had as an academic institution and a Catholic university was really important to me and I thought that I would study business and then maybe music on the side as a minor or possibly a major but I had no idea about the program until I actually came here and found out so I decided to do that as a full major. Yeah I mean you have to analyze what your own needs are, what your own goals are. Notre Dame doesn't you know, pretend to be a conservatory. It's a university. But I think when you're looking for an undergraduate experience, uh, you really can't go wrong with the university experience that's offered here. It's interesting, people ask me all the time, well, you went to Notre Dame, does, does Notre Dame have a big music school? Because it's not, it's not the first thing you hear. The first thing you always hear is football. So. I joke and say that it's perfect, they teach you how to scream here, it's great for opera. So that definitely helps, but I will say when I, especially when I was a student here, it was such a small vocal division of the music department and because of that I had such individual attention and my classes were sometimes three, four, five people big and the opportunities that I had, the stage opportunities, were invaluable. So by the time I graduated, I was leaps and bounds above other people my age because I had already performed four lead roles in an opera, whereas most times people were coming out of conservatories and they were lucky to have been in the chorus. Well, I just played at a box lunch concert and I accompanied two singers who did um, three Dvorak duets. and. I really did not expect to have performance opportunities this early into um, the semester, so I'm really excited that I got to already have performance experience. The Notre Dame Music Department is really unique and special in that it is, it is a small, intimate group of professors and students that really care about learning and developing yourself as a performer, as a musician and they, they really care about every one of their students and care for their success both at Notre Dame and beyond. Whether that is in music or not, many of the students in the music department have other majors, so that is also a great incentive because at Notre Dame you, you can major in something else in addition to music like I did. I started with music and I added anthropology because I sort of wanted to get more in depth into like the culture side of music. I really enjoyed having two completely separate majors or degree paths. Um, a lot of the times I tell people, I'm doing chemical engineering and vocal performance. They say, wow, what a spectrum. And I think that, that that's a really good thing. And to have that opportunity at a place like Notre Dame is great. Each student is an individual, and we really hope to 
um, encourage them and direct them on the path that they choose that, the, that from all the various options in music and there are many different options in music. Yes, Notre Dame places a lot of emphasis on the academics and it's not just the performing and the, the studying technique, it is also learning about um, the composers who and the composers lives and, and studying the, the time periods and so you take the music theory and the music history classes but then you, you also take liberal arts classes. They like the idea that they can do a double major and that it's done all the time and that their junior year they can study abroad, go to Europe for a semester. The, the performers here get a lot of history and theory. The theory and composition people and history people get a lot of uh, practical musical training as well. Well, I'd say the selling point is the quality of the faculty. You, I mean, the, the theorists we have on faculty here and the musicologists are really superb. We have Professor Ewens has taught me more about music, I think, than anyone else in, the, in my musical education, and Professor Smith as well. And who knows who I would have encountered at other places, but I know that the, the faculty I encountered here were completely top notch. <laughs> Professors get to know the students very well and they're able to give them a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention uh, and a lot of the music education itself is actually one-on-one. -on -one. Notre Dame's a place that uh, offers private study in instruments and voice. Yeah, so you, yeah, and, and you want more time <laughs> to get there, so if you allow this part to finish. One thing I really enjoyed about this past year was getting all the master classes uh, come in. We've had we had three or four master classes this past year, um, and those were amazing, great opportunities to learn um, from from the best. So last week, um, Nathan Gunn, a famous opera singer, a baritone, came to Notre Dame and taught three students, vocal performance students, um, on vocal techniques and interpretation of songs and everything in front of a group of about 80 other students. You can't ever stop reading. You can't go, Si mi chiamano mia, si mi chiamano. It's, you've got air going through the entire time and your mouth is moving to make all those vowels and consonants and everything while the air is slowly coming. Okay. So you need a good breath in, and then you have to bind all of them together. The music department has always been really good about bringing people in, uh, bringing in uh, professors from other schools. Um, last year we had more than a couple, Roger Vignoles and um, Denise Graves came in freshman year. I mean, they've always been really good about bringing in well-known artists and very prestigious teachers and things like that. And so it, it helps now that we have the Jabartolo Performing Arts Center because since we now have a venue for them to perform, not only are they just coming to teach us, they now are able to share what they do with the rest of us in kind of a more professional manner. Learning to perform, uh, whether it be vocal or not in, in an instrument, requires that you go outside of your little practice room or your teacher studio and you have to experience the whole act of bringing your, honing your craft and expressing it to an audience. And our students here get a lot of opportunities to do so. The music department at Notre Dame is a great reflection of what the university stands for and one of those things is community. And I have never encountered a person who doesn't want to help. There was just a feeling of, throughout the faculty and throughout the other students, there was this feeling that everyone was in it together and really enjoying it. I had so much fun in this department. Doing the performances of the operas for, for three years was just a blast and it was a way to just get to know everyone that, that I was studying with in a different way. When you're performing with people you learn so much about them and it is a wonderful experience and it's not just the operas, it's the orchestra concerts and the band concerts and everyone just has a great community here and everyone's super supportive and it's a really great environment.
you can have fun with these different things because you know that there's a part for you. You might not have the biggest part, but you're going to be singing with other people. It's almost like a team sport. There's no question that Notre Dame was the perfect place because I was exposed to so many things outside of music and because of that I think I grew spiritually and intellectually and I was really surrounded by such a diverse group of people. I think had I just been around music majors I wouldn't have had the same experience and I don't think I would have grown as much as an individual.